Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? Tim here. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is the mid-season player of Walt Schmidt. Now, there are other options, of course. We've already reviewed Dembele, and there was a third option. I can't remember who the third option was. Uh, I, I, I can't remember, and there's, there's no way for me to find out quickly, so you'll have to tell me in the comments who was the third player, Dembele, Walt Schmidt, and fill in the gap. So, why did I choose him? Well, obviously, Dembele was done on another account, so I thought, well, let's go for Walt Schmidt. I actually do really like this guy. Um, good links in terms of nationality, not really with his league. That is the problem. But he does have an awful lot of good characteristics. So, four-star, four-star is very good. High attacking work rate, lean body type. He's 5'11". He fits the game relatively well in that sense. 91 acceleration is good. It is let down a little bit by the 83 sprint speed, unfortunately. Uh, we've got 90 long shots, 89 shot power, 86 finishing and 88 positioning, which for an 85 rated card is not bad at all. 89 short passing, 88 vision. If you decide to play him as a cam, you've, you've got most of what you need. I would say long passing could be a little bit better. Uh, but for the most part, at least, that's not a bad place to start, is it? 89 short passing. And then his dribbling, for the most part, it's mid-80s. Agility is 90. Balance then 86, 83 for reactions, ball control, 84 dribbling. So in and around the mid-80s. And then composure, unfortunately, is just about touching 80. So that might let him down here or there. But we'll talk about that when we get to the gameplay. 90 stamina. I put a hawk on him. Why? Don't really know. I was using him as a striker in a two-striker formation with Caputo. The review for that, by the way, already on the channel. Go check it out. If you've already seen it, I do apologize, but sometimes this happens. A lot of the clips that you've seen, you will probably end up seeing again, but it'll be from the Walt Schmidt perspective. Now, the reason that's happened is because A, they were reviewed together, and B, I was actually meant to do a David Alaba review because they just got their upgrades for the Road to the Final cards, but there were a few problems with it and I had to delay it. So rather than Walt Schmidt coming tomorrow and me having the chance to play a few more games to get some different clips, uh, unfortunately, I've had to do it this way around. So you will end up watching essentially a double video, kind of. Not really, but at the same time, yeah, you will. There will be some random clips in here that you didn't see in the Caputo review. But uh, for the most part, it'll be roughly the same. But that's not a bad thing because we can have a look at it now from the Voltschmidt perspective. And we can go through what I liked and what I didn't like. And whether I actually think Voltschmidt can compete with Caputo, despite the fact that he's two ratings lower and he was... I, I suppose just created for the sake of it. Caputo, at least you'd like to think so anyway. There was a little bit of thought that's gone into it because they have to think about what happens if he gets an upgrade. They have to think about what the 87 rated card is going to be like. And then, of course, with Volt Schmidt, it's just a case of we need mid-season players. Let's just bang anyone in there. This guy in front of goal, left foot, right foot, doesn't really make a difference. He's actually quite good. I really like taking shots with him. I had confidence more often than not, that he was actually going to score his chances and take them well, despite the fact that he only has 80 composure. You can see it now and again shine through where unfortunately he's just not at the races when it comes to being in front of goal. But he's like that there. He pounces and his positioning is very, very good. He's got a hot chem still on him. He's going to help him with his pace and his strength slightly as well. So he's not going to be a slouch, that's for sure. His passing was very good. It was solid. Actually, very, very solid. Like I said, two striker formation. Trying this whole five at the back when you're defending, three at the back when you're attacking sort of thing. Works relatively well, I guess. At least it does in friendlies. As well as my new passing technique. I will do a video on that uh, sooner rather than later. I've let this clip run because just after Caputo scores, my opponent is trying to draw me out a little bit so that he can get a chance. Plays a very bad ball to Caputo, into Volt Schmidt, back it goes, a little bit of one 2 age positioning on him there. Ronaldo knocks it to him, and it's a good finish on the stronger foot. He is left-footed, remember that. I didn't know for the first game, kept taking shots wherever it was. I just kept thinking, oh, he's bound to be right-footed. I automatically assume every player is right-footed. So the first game I played, I forgot to look what foot he was, and I kept taking every single shot with his right foot. Right there, straight down the middle. I say straight down the middle, it's sort of near post, but... You know what I mean? Straight down 
as a, as a line and that the goalkeeper's got no chance. Why? Because he's got 86 finishing with 89 shot power. And of course, we've boosted that with the Hawk Chem style. He has a lot more than that now and he's capable of scoring some really nice goals. I had confidence with him in front of goal. I had confidence playing the ball into him because with the Hawk, he's got over 90s for for acceleration and sprint speed. Just thought I'd show you this. It didn't take the free kick, but Zinedine Zidane did. These these uh, co-op, by the way, that I played, they were so boring. They would go to the halfway line, like literally ping pong passing it to about the halfway line or just above. Then they would turn around, launch it back to the goalkeeper, and then do it again. I really don't understand why people play the game that way. Great finish on his left there. Good ball in. Uh, from, I think it was Zidane in the end, uh, nice little pass through, but the positioning and, and the passing, there's nothing really wrong with this card. You've got a bit of a dilemma to make. If you've not made the decision already, if you are thinking, well, I'm there or thereabouts at the mid-season or I'm, I'm about to hit mid-season or whatever, then, yeah, you have a decision. Do you go for Dembele? Do you go for Volt Schmidt? Do you go for the secret third option that I can't remember? I suppose it depends on what you want. I don't think this card is going to be good enough to go into your main team. And if it is, you've either been not been playing the game or you've been gambling, essentially. I wouldn't say playing it wrong, but you've been gambling. Volt Schmidt with another great goal, this time on his right foot. And bang, there we are with my verdict. Um, I have not said whether it's worth unlocking or not, because most people will make it to the mid-season regardless of whether they're trying or not. You have like 40-odd days to do it in total. So I would imagine you'd end up doing it. Um... I like him. I really do. I like these type of cards, you know. They're sort of middle ground. They're not going to break into your first team, not by any stretch of the imagination. They're not really good enough to be playing with in champs necessarily. I mean, they are, but they're not if you're trying to actually gain an advantage. But they're fun to use because you go into a game, your opponent, like, he doesn't know what to expect. He doesn't got a clue what to expect because they don't know how Walt Schmidt plays. Unless you're a Benfica fan or a fan of a club that he's ever played for before, you know nothing about this guy. So, like, I didn't know what foot he was. So your opponent is probably not going to know what foot he is either. You can turn them inside out because they don't know which position to cover. If I'm facing Iron Robin, I know he can only use his left foot. I know to see him onto his right. If I see him onto his right, he can't do anything. With Walt Schmidt, they don't know which side is his strong side, so they won't know what to, uh, what to expect and how to defend it. It's a lot of fun to use cards like this, and he's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Four-star, four-star, with decent work rates, good acceleration, and very good in front of goal, with nice agility as well. If I were you, and you're not looking for a box-to-box -box midfielder, I would pick up Walt Schmidt and have a little bit of fun with him. Very, very good card considering he's essentially free and he's only 85 rated. Let me know what you think of him in the comments section down below. And if you've already chosen your player, who did you choose? If you have enjoyed this video, though, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.